folks, welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. I'm gonna return to the tune Wagon Wheel by the Old Crow Medicine Show. And this is the third in a series of video lessons on this tune. This one will cover the third fiddle break. So I'm gonna play the whole thing, as usual on Fiddlehead, and it kind of a mid-tempo, and then play it for you slow, breaking down phrases and note by note. Um, instruction after that. If you're new to Fiddlehead, there are left hand fingerings in the comments field below. So I'm just going to start by playing the whole thing, all right? Such a great part. Just like, I just love this part. I love how there's three breaks and they're all kind of like built around a similar set of ideas, especially the endings and the beginnings, but then each one is its own thing. So anyway, well, let's get started, okay? So it's in A, so good to know this A scale. You can also practice doing um, an A double stop scale, which is playing the double stop of A and E constantly. Keep playing A and E constantly while playing the same scale. That'll help a lot once we start to add double stops. When I start the lesson, we're just going to do singles stops, you know, single notes. And then at the end, I'm just going to say, hey, this is what you could do maybe to add some double stops to it, all right? Because I think it's easier just to get the melody first before doing the double stops, all right? So, um, in my slightly simplified version then, we're gonna start with D1, going, j jumping up to open E. So it's gonna, this little riff is gonna be. And that's sort of the pickup to it. Do, do, da, da. And then we're coming in on the downbeat after that. Slower. And if there's a little bow drag, it almost will sound good because you're playing the chords. You don't have to do that, but and eventually we'll add that as a double play as a double stop, like first on D and open A and E. If you're really comfortable with double stops, you can do that from the get go. All right. Um, so then moving on, what comes next is um, a lot of notes on the E string. So it's one, three, three. And then we're gonna add a, a quick three open after that. Here's that again, a little slower. All right, and then we do that little riff twice in a row. Here it is again. All right, so, um, and then what comes after that is this little, thing. we're gonna go three to four a whole bunch of times, four times in a row. Okay, that makes sense. And then after that, we kind of walk down the scale. Not kind of, we do walk down the scale, the A major scale. So aren't you glad you practiced it in the beginning like I suggested? Sorry. Okay, here we go. So adding um And that's the end of our first quarter. 
it's not precisely a quarter in terms of mathematical time length division, but it sort of it seems like a, a nice dividing point um, in terms of the way the phrases and the logic of the phrases, okay? So again, um, what I just did, if you're following with the tabs, it's starting to three, four apart. And then walking down the scale. And then before all that, we had um, this piece, starting with the pickup. And then we go straight into the next thing. All right, so I'm now gonna play the entire first quarter for you very slowly. Here's the entire first quarter one more time with a little bit of the double stop in the beginning. Okay, very cool. Let's move on to the second quarter. If you don't have that one, I suggest you pause the video and practice it for a little bit right now. Okay, let's do the second quarter. So let's get started on it. Um, it starts A1 to 2, going up to E. And then on E, 3, 2, 3. Here's that again. Let's just um, play that, let's loop that three times. Again. If you're not familiar with the practice of looping, it's a great way to practice because you take a little piece that may be hard, like that piece I think is kind of hard, and rhythmic, rhythm of it is hard, and you kind of just get, in, get into it, get into, make a little groove out of it, and you kind of get it, without having, eventually not thinking as much, you're more playing. So I find looping to be really just a fun way to practice, all right? So um, continuing on, after that, I'll just pick it up after that. We're gonna just go back to A, two, one, open. All right, so we have um, there's that again. Okay, and then we're gonna add after that A3, going up to E. Um, so it, it's going to be funky in the rhythm, so listen to it put together. All right, and then from that E, I'm just going to start, finish from there um, in the tune and then put it all together. So right, we're going to... That's on A3, open E, E low one, one, 
two, three, four. Kind of walking up the scale on the E string, but we're throwing in a low one. It was that phrase again. All right, so um, I'm now going to play slowly again the entire second quarter, all right? Um, if any part is unclear, it might have been a little bit in there. I, you could rewind and listen to it. Here we go. Okay, let's do that again. It's kind of hard to find a point to break and say do this and do that. It, it's almost maybe if you just look at the tabs below, get the, get the fingerings, and then um, listen a bunch to what I just did for the timing. Because do you see what I'm saying? It's kind of tricky to find like this is a simple little phrase you could hold on. Anyway, well, did my best there. Um, now we're gonna move on to the third quarter, which has got a tricky thing. Um, so when the, normally. Fiddlers don't really play higher than this pinky finger on the E string. Um, that's the B note. That's the fourth finger, pinky. But in this tune, we're gonna play, we're gonna slide that up a whole step. So I'm calling that high fourth or H4 for abbreviation in the tabs below, all right? So I'm gonna play the uh, whole third quarter for you now and check out how that works. So we're going to start um, by, you can play that pinky finger, the B, or the, sorry, or the uh, E4, slide it up. That note is on um, C sharp. All right, so we're going to play that four times. And then do it, so it's four long bows, three long ones, and then two shorts. High fourth to open E. So this is kind of a new and maybe strange thing. I suggest looping on it with, right now. So I'm gonna loop it and play along with me. Try to slide into it. Okay, I think that's good. Do it more if you need. Um, and now, um, well, so when it happens in the tune, that happens twice, that little riff. So we'll do it exactly twice. Listen to that. And then I'm gonna do, now do the next riff. So in this part, unlike the second quarter, I feel like th this is a good dividing point. And so this next phrase sort of seems more independent. Um, um, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to start E1, 1, 3, 1, open on E. All right, here's that again. Next four notes are going to be A2, 3, open E, back to A2. Again. Putting together this and the thing that came before. Again. Moving on. I'm going to walk down the scale, the A scale, starting um, on A3. Okay, that's not too hard, right? Compared to what you've done already. So, so far in this little section, we have. And then to close it out, we end with D, two, one, open one. All right. Now 
I'm going to do that whole phrase, not the whole third quarter, but the phrase we've been just working on. One more time. Now I'm going to put together that and add the thing that came before it, which was that stuff with the high four. Here we go. So I'm going to do the whole third quarter again. Excellent. Okay. Good work if you've made it this far. Now we're going to move on to the fourth quarter. Okay, fourth quarter, there it is. So um, it's kind of like the end of the first and second breaks. If you've done the first two videos I did, um, it's very similar, but I'm showing it to you just because it's different enough that I think you can learn something cool about fiddling and how things are varied by learning this one exactly. So, um, but that said, you could just replace the other ones. You know, you could just do the same one there and it would totally work, but for the sake of just learning, let's learn this one exactly. So um, it starts with um, three notes on G high three. And then we're gonna go to fourth, or a quicker note, eighth note. And then after that, we're doing a triplet from high three to four back to high three. It's good to slur that. Notes are faster if you can slur them. High three is hard, so you may need to practice this a lot. For this is not a beginner thing going high three on G to four, it's hard. So, all right, so putting together what we have so far in the fourth quarter. There's that again. Okay. Here's the next little phrase, starting high three to two. High three, two, two. And then a similar little, similar little rhythm going high three. And another triplet going two to high three back to two. There's that again. Okay, so starting at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Okay, now here's the last phrase. It's going to walk up from G1, 2, it just kind of walks up the scale. back down and then we had another two one to the end. All right, cool. Well that about does it. Uh, let me just do this last fourth quarter again for you. So lastly, I just want to um, give you some double stop ideas, mainly um, using the A double stop scale. So basically you're droning either A or you're droning E. So in the beginning, on the first E, D, one, you're droning open A, and then with E, you're droning A. And then for the first like, you can drone open A. Then, you 
You could join A throughout there, or maybe leave it single notes. I don't, it's up to you what sounds good to you. Or maybe just drum the third finger, like when the... Make a little rhythm out of how you use the double stop. You could do that. So there, when I'm playing, fingering the notes on the A string, again, I'm playing, droning the open E. All right. If you understand the principle of um, when you're fingering on A, you draw an open E, and when you're fingering on E, you draw an open A, then that's basically how I'm doing the double stops in this tune. I'm not sure how the fiddler from Old Crow does it. I also suspect that he retunes the G string to an A. It's a very common old time thing and it has kind of that sound. I'm not 100% sure that's how he does it. Um, um, for the third quarter, this little thing, I think the open A sounds great. And so on. And so. Um, use your discretion, you know, like double stops make the sound muddier. It's cool, but if you notice, the melody becomes a little less distinct, so you got to be careful with them. But have fun with them. See what, do what sounds right and feels right to you. Anyway, I'm glad you made it through another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. It's a hard tune, so pat yourself on the back when you, if you can do even part of it. And that was fun for me. Hope it was for you. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent!